The question is if one angle of a triangle is 50 grade, if the ratio of remaining two angles is 7 is to 8, find the angles in degree. Means okay, solution here out of three angles, one angle is given. Okay, let us suppose here the first angle first angle is equals to 50 grade. So see here, find the angles in degree. It means that we convert this angle in terms of degree over here only. Then what it will be? 10 1 times is 5 times 50, 5 into 9 is 45 degree. Means 50 grade equals to 45 degree. Now the ratio of remaining two angles is given. It means that we need to suppose let second angle be okay before this we need to write something okay let x be a common variable common variable which multiplies which multiplies the given ratio given ratio to give exact quantity means the angle it means that the second angle will be second angle will be the ratio 7 is to 8 means it will be 7x and then lastly the third angle will be 8x as we know that in triangle the sum of three angles is 180 degree. Find the angles in degree. It's mentioned in degree. That means we use the sexagesimal system or the degree system, right? It means the sum of three angles is 180 degree. If, you, if it is grade, then at that time, we'll convert all these angles into grade. And then we'll sum up to give, sum up to write 200 grade as 180 degree equals to 200 grade. Now, first angle plus second angle now first angle plus second angle plus third angle equals to 180 degree and remember these two angles are also in terms of degree only i eh? remember these two angles are in terms of degree or we'll add this one 7x plus 8x it's 15x and then 180 degree minus 45 degree we'll do it over here or 15x is equals to 180 minus 45 it's 135 or x equals to 135 degree over 15 degree or x will be equals to what will be the answer 9 degree. So 7x is equals to x degree equals to 7 into 9 degree is 63 degree. Next one is 8x. It is 8 into 9 degree. It is 72 degree. Hence the required angles are first angle is 45 degree second angle is 63 degree and the third one is 72 degree